beloved it's a pleasure to come your your way once again with a message from the lord and today i want to talk about god's purpose for humankind why are we here you know what is the purpose of our lives here on earth what does the scripture say about it i think that all of us desire to rise above the ordinary you know everybody wants to every sane person wants to distinguish themselves you know from others and let their lives count for something bigger and greater than themselves every person every right person right thinking person has this desire and yet when you look at this you realize that there is either a right way or a wrong way you know uh, how to pursue this goal that we all have if you read ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 the bible says god has essentially put a desire for eternity in our hearts mm? there's whether you believe in him or not this thing is there you know that makes makes everyone crave for eternity mm? and god will render to each one according to his deeds eternal life to those who by patient the continuance in doing you know good seek for uh, glory and immortality but to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth of god you know but obey unrighteousness what awakes them is indignation and wrath that is what romans chapter 2 says romans chapter 2 verse uh, 6 to 8 so you see we all have various means and various ways of going about things but the essential thing is finding out what which is the right way you know what to do what is god's purpose for me what is god's plan in every moment we have to be making this decision and we realize that for some it's not so easy it doesn't come so easy to many people so don't don't feel don't feel different when when you struggle with all of us struggle with it it's a daily affair that we all have to find what does god say what does god want what is god expecting of me you know this year as we focus on the theme about aligning ourselves with the kingdom of god we want to also consider what's what's the purpose of of god for for us all for us all the point you have to note in considering this is uh, this scripture in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 7. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 43. Let's start from verse 6. It says, I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. For everyone that is called by my name, you know, he says, even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. You see the phrase, he says, even everyone that is called by my name. I want to ask you, are you called by the name of God? If we indeed say we are believers, we believe in Jesus Christ, then God has his name unprinted on our spirits. You know, by his spirit living in us, God has imprinted his name upon us. So we are essentially called by the name of God. So God is telling you that he has created us. He has made us Christians, children of God, for his glory. So I think that is the biggest the biggest um, thing we all need to understand. That we have been created for God's glory, for something you know that he requires of us you see god has we didn't create ourselves so if we've been created and we've been looking for why we've been created then the bible is telling us that we have we have been created for something and that something is uh, for display or to manifest god's glory you see in ephesians chapter 1 also let's read ephesians chapter 1 verses 11 and 12 it says 
in whom also we have obtained in whom look at the phrase in whom in whom is what in jesus christ we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things you know after the counsel of his own will <laughs> verse 12 says that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in christ I think this sums up what I'm trying to say. You see, we should be to the praise of His glory. Everything that you see, you see, everything that you have been trying to accomplish here is all, is all about the glory of God. All right? It can be a bit difficult for some to grasp it, but that is the reality. And so you have to consider, if this doesn't, does not bring glory to God, then it must not be right. That is, how Christ, that is how simple our lives are as Christians. You know, everything should be for the glory of God. And if it doesn't, then there's a problem. I mean, so with this knowledge, how do we live our lives, you know, for, you know and, and, and attain God's purpose for our lives? Okay. One, we are to glorify God in all the things that we do with our lives this is stated in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 whatever you do do all to the glory of god as as simple and as straightforward as that everything that we do you know we should do all of it to the glory of god and and that should make your life easy because then it can cut out anything that does not glorify god you know it's Look, you don't listen to the news to try to interpret the word of God. You don't understand the Bible from the media. <laughs> you understand the Bible from the Bible. You know, anything that God says is wrong is wrong. All right? And anything that you are tempted to do or you are being asked to do that does not bring glory to God is out of the question for you. If you say you are you are a believer and you have God's name or you know on you. That's, that's, that's how simple the thing it cannot get any simpler you know and then we are also told in 1st Corinthians 6 that do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit whom you have you have from God and, and you are not your own we are not ourselves our own we didn't create ourselves for we are or we said for you were bought at a price therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's our body and our spirit are God's. We should glorify God through these elements. You know. So don't don't be confused. Don't, don't be confused about these things at all. Anything that goes counter to this is an error. Alright? Whether it is something to do with the psychological part or emotional or mental or physical manifestation of anything that goes contrary to these words of God are false. Alright? If you read Philippians chapter 1 verse 21, it says, what are you doing with your life? Are you living for his glory or your own? Alright? It says, for, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. This was Apostle Paul. Philippians chapter 1 21. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So, look, our, our, I think our purposes have been cut out for us. We shouldn't try to pretend that we don't know what we are to do or what God requires of us. All right? We are to just obey the word. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So we are even at, a, at, a, at an advantage. Jesus has given us this life, you know, and shows us what to do. And and we will have it more abundantly and be successful and glorify God in whatever you look, you can do you can do what God has asked you to do and be very successful and, and be very abundant and, 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 and glorify God in the process. You know, you don't have to add any extra thing, you know, like what people are trying to do. Jesus is enough. All that Jesus has done is enough. Nothing else should be added. So let's understand our purposes. 
all right i pray for you this year as we are seeking to align ourselves with the kingdom of god that you are you will identify your purpose so clearly you know as never before and and be ready to walk in it god will grant you the grace and the strength to walk in it and be successful at it in jesus name god bless you amen